Well, we've been previewing it all week. This weekend, local business owners are coming together to kick off the holiday shopping season in Jefferson City. Ryan Rumba is at one of those local businesses with more. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Dick and Megan. We are at Downtown Book and Toy, again on High Street in downtown Jefferson City. And this weekend is the holiday open house. And one of my favorite things to do in the holidays is play games with my family. And we are here this morning with Cece. She is the manager of Downtown Book and Toy. Good morning. Good morning. So we are talking today about how games are the perfect gift for Christmas. They are the perfect gift. You have so many people together that perhaps you know and don't know and that kind of thing at the holidays. It's an instant fun out of the box. Mm -hmm. And so we sell a lot of games all year round but especially for the holidays okay and right now we're gonna focus on maybe games for the little ones little to get the people. little ones involved There's learn your first game around three mm -hmm. and these are for ages three to six um, it's to learn all different kinds of things colors taking turns mm -hmm. sharing all those good qualities that you want for your little people and these are super cute so show me this one this is the sneaky snacky squirrel game sneaky snacky squirrel is very similar to say hi ho cheerios okay and everyone has their log that they're gonna um, collect their acorns <laughs> instead of cherries and okay. you take turns by using the spinner and you spin she which one's that? The cloud? The cloud is very sad. You've lost oh, your acorns. Okay, the I have no acorns. Came yeah. in, so, yeah. Okay, so there we go. So now you have red. So you're going to use your squirrel and you want to pick out a red acorn and put, put it on your log. Oh, cute. And then the game passes to the next person. And there's several different chances on there to fill your log or have them blow away or okay. be taken by the squirrel. And then once you get one of each color, you're done. Then the game's over. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And then it's really cute yeah. and fun. Super cute. Now, what about this one? Skunk Bingo. Skunk Skunk bingo is again <laughs> the same kind as a concept of bingo just like for big people mm -hmm. and you have your everyone has a different play board and you want to use your spinner to um, get the tiles out of the log okay and so you spin and if you get a two then you have to put two tiles in the log but they come out on this side and this is what goes on your okay. card so now, that would go there there's one mm -hmm, and then here's your second one and if you don't need it then you'd get to share it with someone else who's playing the game. That's a good little And addition. you don't want to get the skunk to come out, and it's very random. If the skunk comes out, you have to dump all your tiles and start, and start again. Start over. Cool. So it's uh, cute, and it's got a lot of different uh, aspects that you're going to learn because of it sharing and mm -hmm. matching and taking turns and fun. Very fun. Good for the little ones. Yes. In a little bit, we are going to come back, and we're going to bump it up a little bit and see what kind of games the teenagers and adults are playing this year at the holidays. For now, we'll send it back to you guys. We've got a game for everything. Seems like it, doesn't it? Good morning. Good morning. So you guys are having this event this weekend, this holiday open house. You guys are That's taking true. part, and you said this whole place is going to turn into a game center. A game center. Game day. We have tables set up all through the store, mm -hmm. and we'll have games out, all the games out just like this, to demonstrate so that you can try them out before you buy them. Yeah. To find out if you think they're really fun or if they're age appropriate for who you're looking for. Just like trying on clothes before you buy it. That's exactly gonna... right. It's much more fun that way. You know that you're going to like it. And you understand the rules who likes to read those rules <laughs> we like to explain the rules to you so that you don't have to do that exactly so now we're talking about games for a little bit older maybe the preteen that's age. true yes it's uh, and again you're still learning the same kind of things I know everyone knows how to take turns mm -hmm. and share that kind of thing but that's what you're doing again as long and you're having fun and sequencing and, and that kind of thing again all right well tell me about Masharu. Masharu is, is what we've got here it's sort of a um, you have your cards and everyone you're gonna take turns rolling the die okay and oh, go oh. ahead you want to do that I'll do that and you have you want to try to duplicate your picture now if you don't have something that you need from the die then you can either share give okay. it to someone else so I can give you the purple you give me the purple and then I'll use it to duplicate my purple tile okay then I'll roll and if I can't do I can't use one of those but I'll I say could. would you like to use one of mine and then you get to share okay, so the sharing. first person to fill your card um, can wins. Okay, perfect. And that's more sharing. Good, it's more good little sharing. values mm -hmm. there. Now, yeah. uh, we were talking about this game gets a little crazy, right? Oh, this is crazy. This is called Five Second Rule. And you think five seconds is a long time, but it's really not. It has a funny timer. <laughs> and so you have five seconds to answer the card. So, um, 
and you have different size cards, so name three original colonies. And oh, so you have okay. five seconds to do that. And then it's like, uh, 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 you start tripping over That's yourself. Right. right. You start so. tripping over yourself. Um, three Mexican restaurants. Okay. All different kinds of things. Name three hurricanes. Zach could probably get that one for us. <laughs> probably. Let's hope. Um, and so it's a big group game. You can play with two to 20 people, and everyone's shouting. Yes. And My family would be screaming. Exactly. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> and this one is more for, we were talking about, it's for readers and people, maybe, it's maybe for readers kids who are struggling. Maybe struggling a little bit. It's called Tell a Tale, and you get the cards, and you they can do, you can set up several different ways. Say you have five cards, and you want to um, take turns building your story because okay. you're building a tale. And so the youngest person usually starts, that would be you, mm -hmm. and so you start with, and you say, Here's the beginning of the story, and so, and then you and then we'll keep passes going back around and forth. to build your story. Perfect. So and there's a lot of different ways you can play this one. You can play by yourself, where you draw six cards and then you write a story about it. You can. There's all different ways that yeah. you can play. Good it. for reading, good for learning. We are going to come back in a little bit, and we're going to show you some of the games for maybe the adults or the older older kids at holiday parties, and that's when it really gets crazy. But for now, back to you guys. Well, this weekend is the annual Holiday Open House in downtown Jefferson City. Ryan Rumba has been previewing it all week and joins us now with one of the local business owners participating. Ryan. Hi, guys. Good morning. Yes, we've been talking about this all week. It's this weekend's Holiday Open House in downtown Jefferson City, and I'm here at Downtown Book and Toy with the manager. Her name is Cece. Good morning. Good morning. We've been having fun all morning. Yeah. We've been playing games, and this is what's going to be happening all weekend. All weekend. And we're talking about holiday, you know, getting the family together, playing games on the holidays, and this is for the adults. This is when things really get this loud is, and crazy. Yeah, at least loud in and crazy. No kidding. That's exactly right. Yeah, so we're, we got all these dice here now. Mm -hmm. This is Tell called Tinsy, and it's a speed game. That's what makes it so much more fun. And the idea is that there's 10 ways to play, 10 dice, 10 Z. It's easy to okay. remember. Yes. So what you want to do is you want to shake your dice and let them fall, and you want to get 10 that match. So pick out what you have the most of, okay. set them aside, and then go again. And then keep going until you, you get all of them. Okay. To get all 10. And then you yell 10 Z when you get them all matching. Gonna... Oh. Ah, first person Drop to win. One. Oh no, that's huh. what makes it more fun. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm not getting it anytime soon. Oh. Uh, there, there oh, you I go. Had it? Yeah, I you had it. Okay. Tenzi. There we so go. That's Tenzi. the way you play that. All right, one. what's this crazy wheel? This is another fast paced game where you have a subject card. So this is different kinds of furniture, and it's timed, and you want to get for a bed and then press it and it passes it. It's really desk, fast. Pass it. Mm -hmm. so desk, think of chair, that word. fast. And there's a lot of different, like here's pizza toppings. Okay. And the tricky thing is every letter is not there. So you might think of something, the letter's not oh, there. Okay. It's not the entire alphabet. So it's a little bit tricky. Gotcha. But it's very fast paced and fun. All right, we were talking about one of my favorite games, Apples to Apples. Now this is snake oil. It's very similar. Very similar. It's by the same people who make Apples to Apples. And what you're going to do is out of your five cards, you're going to choose something to sell to a superhero. And so, and then you got to sell it. Okay, so superhero. Superhero is our category. Uh, okay. So go ahead. You want to I'm going to sell you a superhero map because you're flying around and you need to know where to go and this is the perfect map. Absolutely. And I'm going to sell you a, ca a camera because you've got to be able to see far away <laughs> and fast and tricky around corners. That's the kind of camera I have to sell you. And then there's a judge. So and this would be judge. three players. It would be three or more. But this is, again, a really big group game. Yes. Lots of fun because everybody can make up a bunch of hooey to sell <laughs> to someone else. Definitely very fun. And you're going to be demonstrating all these this weekend at the open house. Yes, ma'am. We'll have them all set up so you can and try them out. Perfect. Well, if you want to get a hold of these games and see tons of other games, this place is stocked full of games. Come out this weekend to the Holiday Open House in Jeff City. But for now, we will send it back to you guys in the studio.